Whoa! I have to admit that this space trip wasn't an easy one. I hope you all are enjoying our remote experience as much as we do here at this side of the screen. Suddenly, it seems like we all have our own hackerspace. Huh? But, bon, and in other parts of the world, people have a completely different experience. My colleague, Buck Botter, flew to the Canary Islands to meet David Potoknik, I hope I spelled this right, from the CHT Hackbase Canaries. Let's have a look. Canary Hacker Base. Why and what's your goal? So we started doing this like 10 years ago. Um, the idea is that the system is broken and that we can move to the desert and kind of try to prototype um, how we can engage with it and maybe unpack it. So the, the goal is basically to unlock the desert as a viable living space. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, that's what we've been doing for 10 years in different forms. Like first as a house and uh, then as a series of camps. And now currently we're sailing uh, a couple of vans and tents and um, yeah. And uh, how did you guys survive the pandemic? Yeah, the pandemic has been um, really good for us. Uh, we haven't had much um, problems here for a year and um, it's easy to supply uh, and we've been swimming and fishing and packing, so it's good. Uh, and how do you survive there? How do you make a living? Well, the first thing that's um, um, the the focus of hack races is to reduce costs. So um, we, you know, we we um, go off the grid, and um, then we pull all the resources. So when we commonize costs and commonize equipment, it turns out we can um, further uh, make it easier to get through the month. So we're currently at about maybe three hundred euros per month. And then the rest we organize through a cooperative, which where we basically do uh, some software deployment for maybe art or um, let's say art academia work. Uh, and wh where do people uh, get in touch with you, get in touch with the project? How can they contribute or join? Uh, yeah, people can find the website on uh, totalism.org and uh, they can find also their, uh, the, the mailing list. And uh, now it's a good time to come because uh, I think the borders are still, well, it depends on actually your, your current place where you find yourself. But if you get here, we can provide a quarantine tent and then after 10 days, we, we merge you into the main, the main situation. So basically, if anybody's joining from outside, you, you make them quarantine for 10 days to keep the community uh, corona free, so to say. Yeah, absolutely, because we, we don't have um, um, a lot of um, contact with the outside, but the few people we do here are the um, elder fishermen, so we want to keep them safe as well. Wear a mask. Yeah. Take the planet. Exactly. Well, well thank you, David. Um, I, I think I forgot the introduction, but thanks for the interview. And we'll uh, hope to see you on Congress next year, if it's possible. Okay, then the announcements in stream one, a lecture called The Big Melt, tipping points in Greenland and Antarctica. Ricarda Winkelmann is a professor at climate system analysis at the University of Potsdam and the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. On stream two, I could not resist. Resists, re resists for electron beam lithography, EBL, by Noodle, who likes to play physics and maths, you know. Finally, then, we have another stream from Restrealität Berlin. There is a lecture called Biohacking in Art. It's an interdisciplinary foray from slime molds to fungi and cell structure. Whoa, by Teresa Schubert. I wonder. That's it for me, guys. I hope to see you all very soon. Stay hungry, stay foolish, 
But above all, stay safe. Kuriositäten, Extravaganzien, Zukunftsagenten, Ausrüstung, Schnick, Schnick und, und Schnack. Schnack, wissenschaftlich geprüft, von Meistern erprobt. Seien Sie dabei, heute Abend um 22 Uhr im Chaos Trawler Teleshop mit von der Partie die anerkanntesten ExpertInnen aus Wissenschaft und Hauswirtschaft. Und Sie, meine sehr verehrten Chaoswesen, Damen und Herren, Zuschauer und WeggucherInnen, denn der Erlös geht direkt zu gemeinnützigem Zweck zu 25 Prozent an die MS Stubnitz, zu 25 Prozent ans Gängeviertel und zu 50 Prozent an Netzpolitik.org. An alle Pfennigfuchser, holt den Igel aus der Tasche, plündern Sie unseren Onlineshop. Heute um 22 Uhr im Chaos Troller Teleshop. Wir freuen uns auf Sie. Ihre Karin und DJ Arnold. <lacht>